What's good, YouTube? Today we're going to do an unboxing of WWE 2K23, which was released today, March 17. We're going to be doing an unboxing for both the PS5 and the PS4 versions of the game. This is this year's edition of WWE 2K and the 2K series. If you are not familiar with it, this is pretty much the continuation of the SmackDown vs. Raw, which I played when I was a kid. Uh, SmackDown vs. Raw, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, 2007, 2008, all the way up to 2011. Eventually, they renamed it 2K. 2K12 was the first one in the 2K series. Or my, I'm so sorry. 2K14 was the first one in the 2K series. It was pretty much WWE SmackDown vs. Raw up to 2011. Eventually, they changed to WWE, just WWE. It was 12, WWE 13. And then, I believe it was 2K14. This is um, very similar to last year's game, for those of you who played WWE 2K22. Very similar. Um, the roster is very large as well. The gameplay is very similar. The graphics are really good, similar to last year's as well. Some of some models look better than last year's. I like this year's uh, cover, actually. A lot of people don't like it because it's John Cena, but growing up, I was a fan of John Cena. Then I got tired of Cena because he would be burying everybody on the roster. Eventually, um, as I grew older, I respected his work ethic. And he really is like a role model to follow for a lot of kids. And, I um, mean... He's just a great all-around talent, good on the mic, good performer. He's the first one to come in, was the first one to come in, and then the last one to leave. Now he's just focusing on movies. And I feel like he deserves to be on the cover of this year's installment, even though he's been on the past covers. Last year's cover was Rey Mysterio, another Hall of Famer, or soon-to-be Hall of Famer. He was actually announced as the first inductee in this year's Hall of Fame. As you can see, I picked these up just a couple hours ago. Both brand new. I had to get both versions. I actually already played this uh, this game. I picked it up. Uh, I picked up the Icon Edition, which is the digital version of the higher higher end digital version of this video game. I was able to play three days early. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, but I have to have the physical copy because I'm a collector. If you're like me, you pick up stuff even though it's redundant just because for the collection purposes. And that would be me. One last look at the covers. WWE 2K23 for the PS4. It's one to four players. Two to eight network players. 45 gigabytes minimum. And it's PS4 Pro Enhanced. Even stronger is this year's uh, slogan. And for the PS5, one to four players, two to eight network players, 55 gigabytes minimum, and vibration function supported. So, I mean, these games are very similar. I Like I said, not very much difference, just a little bit. These are, this one's bumped up. And graphics, it, it, this one honestly surprised me because I've seen I've seen it and I played the PS4 version of 2K23, and it's just amazing how they could get it to look so good even on last the previous generation. If you don't own a PS5 and you get this version, you're not really missing out on much. Honestly, this this version is obviously the better one, faster loading times, better lighting, better graphics. But overall, you if you have this one, you're good. You don't absolutely need this one. But like me, I could have the luxury of getting both. That's good. And the pre-order bonus was Bad Bunny. However, if you order it from the... If you pre-order it, you get Bad Bunny. However, that's just a hook to get you to pre-order the game. I believe even if you get this... I'm telling you because it's happened to me before. If you get this game a year later, I'm pretty sure you'll still be able to, to cash in the... Or to use the, the code, the voucher to get the unlockable character of Bad Bunny or whoever's the pre-order bonus. I'm pretty sure that's all that's in this case. They don't really include a booklet like they did a long time ago. Yeah, 
design as I thought, just the code. So this is the look of the disc. Pretty simple, not much going on. And no booklet, just this uh, slip cover or slip with the pre-order bonus code on the other side. It doesn't show any pictures, no artwork, not nothing whatsoever. And this is the PS4 version. This is how the spine looks. Now for the PS5 version. I'm sure it's not too different. For those of you who are on the fence of whether you should get it because you have 23 or 22, I suggest you wait a few months. It should go down in price by the summer. I believe last year or the summer of 2021 or 2022, last year's game uh, went down in price during the summer. Whether you're going to buy it digitally or physically. And yeah, pretty much the same thing going on here. Exact same thing, the disc, with the exception of this being white instead of blue. Just a single paper saying with the pre-order bonus on the other side. No fancy stuff going on. And the spine is exactly the same as the PS4 version, except obviously for the PS5, it's white. So yeah, all in all, do I recommend you pick up this game? Of course, if you're a fan of wrestling and WWE, it's a good game. Pretty fun to play. It's very uh, similar to the old SmackDown vs. Raw games. The gameplay has changed. It's not, it's not very much like a simulation like it was lately. It's more of a pick up and play friendly arcade type of game. Do I recommend you pick them up? Of course. And if you don't want to spend the full price, wait a couple months, a few months, wait till the summer, and it should be down at least 40%. Should go down forty percent at least. If you wait, if you wait all the way to Black Friday, it should be go down as fifty percent or even if not more. And I think you'd have a, a lot of uh, replay value with these games. The showcase focuses on John Cena, his career, all the opponents who are memorable matches who defeated this on this year's uh, showcase. You're gonna be playing as John Cena's opponents rather than John Cena himself. The opponents who defeated him. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys, uh, go out and try this game. Hopefully there will be a, like a free trial or a demo. And if you can't, then 2K22 will do for now, honestly. Thanks for watching.